little ones. How you doing? This is your abuela Tomasa here once more in su programa. When I grew up, I want to be. Cuando yo crezca, quiero ser. Y quiero ser muchas cosas. I want to keep studying. Quiero ser muchas cosas más. And you can do it too. Please, if you have the time and you have the desire, you can be more. Okay, because we know, we really know there are kids that still don't know what they want to be when they grow, grow up. And also sometimes they have a special talent and maybe that can be part of your future. So today I brought my friend Pedro, who's going to talk to me. Maybe you don't know Pedro as Pedro. Maybe you know him as Peter Abel. Peter, hi. How you doing, Peter? ¿Cómo estás? I'm uh, bien, you too. Very happy, Monica, to be here. Very happy to be here. Remember, here, uh, you, I try to present people who bring information and tell us a little bit about themselves. So, Peter, tell us a little bit about what you do and um, just a little bit about yourself. Just a little bit. Sure. I, I'm from Memphis. I grew up in Memphis and I work with our orchestra. So our, our symphony orchestra here, the Memphis Symphony. So I'm not the director who keeps the beat. I'm the director who signs the checks, oh, I guess. Different. <laughs> different. Yeah. Okay, let's start with the questions. So you are the director uh, in, in, in like an administration level, like a paperwork right. and things like that. So what it will be a regular day for you doing this at the Memphis Symphony? My job is to support the artists to make sure that they have what they need to perform, to make sure that we are uh, letting the public know, the people know when we have concerts and try to get them to, to the concerts. Uh, so my, my job is really to be behind the musicians, to be behind the scenes, behind the curtain and, and help make the art be the front and center part. And I will say to anyone who's interested, um, to be an artist, we hope you'll do that. And it means you will practice. It means you will go home and practice. And then as soon as you have a free moment, you will practice. No one is born with the ability to do it. You practice and practice. Thank but you, you for saying yes. that because I tell that to the kids, you have to practice whatever it is. Practica, practica, practice, practice. Your scales, if you're a singer, it's your breathing exercises. If you're uh, if you play the piano, it's the scales and you, and you get ready. So it's 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 very true from all the artists that they practice and practice. But for us on the administrative side, it is to understand the the business and to understand what it takes to be able to give them the resources they need to be able to perform. Can I ask you a question? Being part of the Memphis Symphony. Do you play an instrument or maybe you sing or something? Not well, that it has to be, but I'm not yeah. just asking, I'm just asking. In, in, in great Latin tradition, my instrument was the guitar, oh. was, the, was the guitar. And I, I grew up, I loved the classical guitar. And um, my, my father gave me a guitar he got in Spain uh, when, when, I was a, when I was so young, I don't even remember. And uh, I, I played throughout my childhood, but wasn't very good. <laughs> so, well, maybe it's better than me because I just play the maracas. Look, like this. Hey. That's all I do. Maracas. Okay. Very important instrument. You got to keep the beat. Hey, if you're not in rhythm, there's no point in it playing. It doesn't work. I know. Okay. Tell me something. When you decide to be part of a company like this, when, when you say, well, I love music, maybe I'm not gonna keep playing, but I can do, I can still work in with a, an organization like the Memphis Symphony. When you decide to do that, how this happen? Right, so my, my uh, I have a family tradition of this. My, my father was in the Memphis Symphony Orchestra. Uh, mm -hmm. my, my grandfather was a violinist for a career. My great grandfather was a band leader. 
in in uh, in West Tennessee, in this in this area actually, in Martin, Tennessee. So I uh, I had a history of it. My I even have a sister who uh, runs a school for ballet. So, um, so I had just an appreciation for uh, the what arts can do. I I, I believe that uh, to have the happy rounded life we all want we need to have arts as part of it whether it's painting or singing or acting whether it's uh, theater or orchestra or band I, it's just an important component to important part of all of our lives I, I believe if you if you added music to your life your life will be better <laughs> well it's nice the arts runs in the family yeah. that is nice that is cool well sometimes people doesn't have that background, but they still can do it. They can sure. still be a part of the arts. Okay, tell me, what is the best thing? What is the thing that you really love about your job? What is that thing that you say, I love my job, this is why? So um, because I work with the patrons who buy tickets and, and contribute, one of my favorite parts is to experience a concert. We have beautiful, uh, we have a beautiful concert hall in downtown Memphis called the Cannon Center. It's beautiful. It sounds beautiful. And uh, after a concert, I like to leave my seat and stand in the entrance lobby and just see the smiling faces when, when people leave. And it, it's a little bit of a reminder uh, that we have added some joy to their life and that will help uh, help them. Uh, through, for whatever they, they need to do until the next time we get back together. Okay, Pedrito, here's the thing. Many people say that symphonic music is not for them. They, they, they just play classic music that put you sleep, like <sighs> just to relax. But I think that's not true because I know you. they, 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 they play more than that. Am I right or am I wrong? Oh, you're, you're definitely right. So we... We believe in the, there was a great musician named Duke Ellington and Duke Ellington said this, there's only two kinds of music, good and bad. <laughs> so we, we, we are a classical orchestra, but we believe in that. We play good music and we choose the music that we want to hear and we want to play. And we, we want you to leave clapping and happy we don't want you to feel like you can't clap when you want to clap or any of that. So we, we think uh, we're playing some some music you really enjoy, and we um, we've had some success with that. I, I think I, I would give it a try. And if you want, you know, MemphisSymphony.org, MemphisSymphony.org, you can see all the various concerts that we have. We think we have something for everybody. We even play movie music, if you can believe that. So if you watch a movie and you think, oh, why am I feeling all this emotion? It's a lot of times because of the music that backs it. So a lot of times we'll play the music to a movie while it plays on the screen and we'll play the music live and you see, oh my goodness, it really helps with the emotions. Another experience, the music life. <laughs> okay. For you, the position that you have right now, what is more valuable? The experience that you've been having all these years, or the the um, like the career that you choose, what 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 do you study? Do you study like administration, music, or something? What is more valuable for you right, right that's now a great, as a director? That's a great question. It's very important in my role that I understand the business <laughs> side of it. Um, although, Monica, I must strongly appreciate the product. So it, it is, uh, it's a similar study and training than it would be to run any business, but it has a specific application in understanding what it is we do. Uh, art, art isn't as easy to uh, know what the outcome is or what, you know, if you're selling something, you can say, oh, we sell more things, it's done. But in art, you're, you're, what you're selling is a positive experience. And it's hard to put, you know, a value on that. It, it's really, to me, uh, priceless to, to do that. So yes, you do need to understand the business. Um, and so that, that is the training I have. I have a degree in administration. 
uh, to run not uh, specifically nonprofit administration. Okay, that's a, that's a little different. Uh, people just, you know, nonprofit has people, uh, organizations who doesn't make this for money, money. Of course, <laughs> they need the money, right. but it's not just money, money, money. It's yeah. a little different. Okay, what will be the message that you want to give to kids who might follow your steps, who maybe they're into music, but maybe they, they want to de- do a little bit more and maybe end in a position like the one you have? Yeah, well, I, I believe this. The best piece of music or the best poem or the best play hasn't been written yet. Oh. And we need, if you're watching this, we need you to dream and practice and get and refine your craft so you can write that for us and you can add enjoyment to our lives. That's what we believe. And we are, we are uh, part of a long tradition of uh, bringing joy and happiness into people's lives through the arts. So, uh, you know, if you're sick, you go to the doctor. If, if uh, in your body, you go to the doctor. If you're sick in your spirit and your soul, or you maybe can come to us <laughs> and we can help you with that. So we need, uh, we need people to stay focused on believing that they can contribute. And for, for anyone watching, practice, participate, Learn how it makes you feel. Learn how um, how how beauty in life can help help make you happy and make you smile. And that's why we do what we do. You see, niños, that's why Abuela Tomasa always take their medicine with music, so I can have my medicine and have a little bit of rhythm at the same time. <laughs> you know? <laughs> okay, Peter. I know that everybody's busy. Work sometimes uh, doesn't have enough time for hobbies but do you have a hobby do you have something that you say well today i my day is over and i'm gonna focus on i'm gonna do yeah well my uh main hobby uh, is music (laughs) I, i i still do play i still play the guitar but more for fun and i i of course spend time with my family that's how i spend most of my time i have three young children who I am, uh, my one son, I'm, he's really getting good at riding his bike. So I'm proud of that. So I'm spending all my time there uh, for sure. But it's, um, I, I love participating in the arts as just, a, not, not as an administrator, but just as someone who, who, who participates. So I love going to theater and I love going to the opera and I love, um, I love participating in, in, in dance as well. It just Ooh. it's wonderful. Perfect. Okay, just here he was the option today. You see, there's a lot of things that you can do, but like Pedro say it, practice. Right. La practica. You have to practice. There's no way that you just gonna sit there and say the, the maraca is gonna play himself. No, you have to practice. Oh my, my maraca disappeared. Here, let's go. Okay, well. Pedrito, thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you for coming and talk to me and the children. Uh, give me the name of your children so I can say hello. Say your, the name of your kids. My, I have a son named Amos. I have a daughter named Molly and another son named Jack. Amos, okay, Jack, Molly, and Jack. Yeah. Jack, Amos, and uh, the girl? Mo- Molly. Molly. Yes. <laughs> Saludos, mijitos de la abuela Tomasa. Un besito, mis niños, okay? So, Peter... Gracias. Thank you very much for taking the time to come to uh, and talk to me and the kids. Gracias, gracias. I'm really looking for, how forward to see the uh, uh, Memphis Symphony live because I th- I've been seeing a couple of clips on, you know, in El YouTube or Facebook and it's not the same. Uh, it's good, but it's not the same. It's not the same. So, gracias, gracias. Thank you so much again. And we hope to have you again or maybe do something with Casa Teatro in the future. We'd love to. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, niños. Gracias. See you next week. Besitos de la abuela. Be good.